I'm Brendan. I play guitar for Circus Survive. We're at the Agora Theater in Cleveland, and uh, we're on the On Letting Go tour, 10 year anniversary of our second record. Um, so a lot of the stuff on my board is meant to sort of match that time. I feel like recently, um, man, I went through the ringer over the past couple years of like wanting to tear a board down and simplify to the point where I had, I bought like the gig rig, um, which is this amazing analog switcher unit. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but so I moved on from that. And then I was like, maybe I should just simplify this entirely and try the XFX thing. And I did that for a tour. And then I eventually was like, this is not really for me. And now I'm back to this, which is still the classic tap dancing thing. So this is like kind of the main thing for me every day when we're on a tour that's like a regular headlining tour or a regular tour that isn't an album thing. This tour we do 10 songs or uh, we do like 14, 14 songs and it's the same set every day. But on other tours we like to switch it up, change up the set. And so I have this set up so there are 99 A and B banks on this delay pedal. and. What, starting at bank 20, I have every Circus Survive song with a verse, chorus, essentially programmed into it. So every day I'll come out and pull from those patches to the first 16, essentially, and write a set list on this timeline like that. Um, so that's why I've been using these pedals, like the ease of use, the amount of banks, and the amount, like, they can do so much too. They're very powerful pedals. This sex drive I've been using since it came out pretty much. And it's the one, the one pedal, honestly, this has probably been on the entire time of every live show that I've played in the past 10 years. Ricky, your guys are back here, buddy. I'm pretty Sorry. sure. Sorry, I'm fucking around in your room, dude. Sorry, I That's don't right. need to break this up. It's, it's all good. You turn over. It's all good. Sorry. And it's me without you turnover and Brendan today. So uh, this is, is just like, a, it's a bit of a boost. It adds like a little more clarity to the amp. Um, and when I'm doing uh, any kind of finger tapping or, or slide stuff, then I switch this compression button on and it really helps with that. Um, these are both uh, Keeley modded overdrives. Um, the blues driver is really nice, very warm and probably one of the most transparent overdrives that I've ever messed with. Um, and I tend to use almost exclusively like my amp gain. Like I don't really use pedals for that. I have a Bad Cat, um, Hot Cat 30. Like I fuck with sustain a lot and I'll walk up t to the amp between this and having some delay and just try to get like that sort of feedback and feedback trails. I think that's like one of the most fun things for me about messing around live because you never know how it's quite going to react and you sort of feel like you're actually playing with the amp. Um, basically when we were in the studio for On Letting Go and Juturna, we got that and Brian McTurn and the producer was like, oh yeah, you can get like all these cool tones that Cave In used to get and so we started messing with everything and trying to rip them off because they're awesome. And uh, <laughs> so that one's also... There are a couple pedals like I, I just can't quite recreate what they do. And this fucking thing, which I got literally the last day that we were in the studio for this new record, uh, scares the shit out of me. I've heard a couple of other people say that, but that's actually how I got into like, like this is how I really heard of Earthquaker and wanted to work with Earthquaker. Uh, we were on tour with uh, our ex-bandits. Steve Choi has this thing. Um, and uh, Jonathan, who was playing bass with them, uh, they were both just like raving about it. Uh, and Steve used it in such a cool, like subtle way. But at the same time, I'd never seen another pedal be able to do what it did. Um, so 
unfortunately, I haven't had a lot of time to mess with it. And I'm ex like, again, I'm just excited to get home and start messing with some of this new stuff. So.